Starting off at the delegations at the Chetwin Council, Spectra Energy were the only presenters talking about the West Coast Connector gas transmission. Good evening, Mayor Nichols and Council. On behalf of Spectra Energy, myself, Frank Petrucci, and my colleague, Glenn, Maggie, and Abir, we want to thank you for giving us the time to present to you today. There will be a significant amount of jobs. We're now projected at around 4,000 short-term jobs and 60 long-term direct jobs permanent jobs afterwards and hundreds of indirect jobs. Okay. Open for dialogue. Um, it's critical to our success and we believe in doing the work to get ourselves invited into community. We are collaborative. Um, certainly you can see with all the input we've received from stakeholders in terms of refinements to our route, we will continue to work collaboratively with all stakeholders for input and feedback. We recognize the unique cultural and historical characteristics of Aboriginal people, and this guides our actions, and we recognize that in, in picking our routes. Um, and we have a local presence on the ground, and that certainly represents of our values of sustainability goals throughout the, the whole project development. Spectra went over the history of the project, including the air approval in September 2013 and the filing of the environmental application, which will take place later this year.